Good luck, Steve. Immigration. Those passengers continuing on to Sydney, your flight is now boarding at gate lounge 5. This is a further and final call for Brian. Oh, Nina. Hey, <laughs> great to see you. Yeah. yeah. How was the flight? Oh, fine. You remember, Christy? Sure. Hi, Mr. Fraser. Brian, please. Hey, do I write a kiss? Yes, really good. Okay. Goodness me, you've shown up, haven't you? No, not really. <laughs> hey, listen, Christy, we've got a real nice friend for you. Her name's Michelle. She just lives down the road. She's going to take you lots of places, introduce you to all the friends, huh? Oh, great. Janice was going to come, Nina, but... Uh, oh, she was out running. How'd you guess? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you haven't gone to any special trouble. Oh, come on, problem. look, you're worth special trouble. Hey, oh. we've got to get you to the Wellington plane, okay? Oh, okay, come on. Yes. Excuse me, Professor Van Hull? Hi. I'm your driver to the domestic terminal. Oh, right with you. Such a rush. I know, same as ever. Okay. Okay. Remember that project? I remember. Don't you worry about Christy. Janice and I'll take real good care of I know. Okay. Thanks, Brian. Okay, let's go. Come on. How long to Wellington? Oh, two minutes in the car, 40 in the plane. Okay, thanks. Oh, ah! oh part of the service, madam. What's going on? You tell me. You were driving. Something cut in. It just took off on me. Oh, yeah. It was like someone else controlling it. Like interference. Good one, mate. Yeah, man. So, Steve, best man won. Dream on. Something interfered with our frequency. Losers. What happened? It's the car. My fault. It wasn't my fault. Can you fix it? There's nothing wrong with the car. Micro, something went wrong. If we get creamed again, goodbye national championships. It's them. Christy! Hi, Mrs. Fraser. <laughs> it's Janice. You were so long, I was beginning to worry. We went round the bays. I showed Christy the house where Nina grew up. Yeah, it was really great. It's good to see you, Christy. I'll get the bags. Now, this is Michelle. She lives just up the road. We thought you might like some company. Hi. Hi. And this is Lynn, who's giving us a hand. Hello. Welcome to New Zealand. Thanks. I'll come and help you, Lynn. And you two can get to know each other. Hi. Hi. Oh, once you're settled in, I'll show you around if you like. Okay, sounds great. Oh, good. There's a pool. Dad took us to Disneyland once. 
Auckland's nothing like LA. Nothing should be. Incredible. First day I'm here. What? I'm really entering boats. So is my brother Micro. He's Steve's mechanic. Steve? Oh, Steve races those toy cars, you know. They're not toys. Is he good? He is the best. The best. Christy! Huh? Phone! It's your mum. Already? Coming. I'd really like to meet you, Steve, sometime. <laughs> he won't even know you're there. All he thinks about are his toy cars. Nina, I forgot to warn you about landing in Wellington. <laughs> She's right here. That's a quick flight. A small island. Hi, Mom. I'm fine. How's Wellington? Oh, fine. Uh... Same as last time. Listen, uh, honey, there won't be much chance to talk. I'm going to be tied up until the conference starts. Okay, uh, honey, I've got to go now. Bye. Very good, Professor. Very good. Just help yourself, Christy. Thanks. Mom's straight into it as usual. Come on, Michelle. Thank you. Must be tired. No, just. Thank you. What? Nothing. I guess it was a long flight. I told you I'm not working until I get an explanation. And I told you. Explanations come later. Do you, What is this? Just a cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee. You, uh, you both take it. Black, no sugar, right? You forgot to take off your ring when you put on the fancy dress. I remember the face, too. Well? I won't be needing this, then. Sixteen, so? Only the best. Outmoded. Oh, no, not with the program you developed. <sighs> you don't think I travel with something so valuable? In uh, your luggage. Ready to work, Professor? How are you gonna make me? Stressed to see her go missing. It's up to you, Professor. Go! That was great. First class. What was the lap time, Micro? Uh, 50 seconds. Looking good, Steve. Sounds fast enough to me. Broad clock's at 48. Two seconds is a lot in this game. So how come he's not winning? Steve's better on the corners. Broad's learning and he's got a faster car. <laughs> I see. Look, uh, I've got a shop to open in five minutes, so uh, what's the story, boys? What? What's the pitch? Well, and before you start, I can't afford it. Oh, Dad, this is an old car. So is mine. I can't afford to replace that either. We don't want you to buy us a whole new car, Mr. Milicic. I've saved up some money, and my dad's given me some too. And we can get something selling this one. And I've got some. All right, so how much do you need? Hey. 
How much? Oh, oh. I'm out of here, guys. Mr. Milosich. Dad, it doesn't have to be that much. You may be able to get a new car cheap. Huh? How? Customs auction. Yeah, they auction off all the imports that get confiscated, or well, nobody collects. There's a car in the next one. Yeah, Dad, things go any cheap at auctions. You said so yourself. Mm, sometimes, as long as you know what you're doing. It's the only chance. It's on tomorrow. Oh, I can't afford to take the morning off. Oh, sorry, boys. Come on, if you're coming, Michelle. Look, if you like, I'll try and talk him round. Can you? I'll try. Thanks. I told you it'd be OK. He hasn't agreed. He will. Janice Fraser? Nina, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, 10 Ks. <laughs> She's right here. Mom, hi. No, I'm great. Just sleepy. So a bit zonked. <laughs> oh, they're really sweet. I'm glad you're settling in. My room? Oh, it's uh, very comfortable, honey. And I've met some very interesting people. Mom, what's with the honey? You never call me that. Dad used to call me that. Well, it's no big thing. Mom, is something wrong? Mom? Sorry, honey, I was miles away. I guess I'm pretty tired, too. Listen, I have to go. You take care now. Breakfast? Yes, in a moment, thanks. Is something wrong? Mom called me honey. Dad does. Mom never calls me that. Anyone else hungry? Janice, breakfast is on the patio. I'm off now. Back at three if that's okay. Fine, thanks, Lynn. Don't you worry about your mum, Krista. She's probably as tired as you are. Something happened? No, she just sounded funny on the phone. I don't know. Well, we'll call her back. No. No trouble at all. Come on. Get it. A Wellington International Hotel? Professor Van Hull's room, please. Uh, no, Hi. I don't know. Hi. Michelle. Not at all. Come in. Hi. 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 I was ringing the room now. Thanks. Hello, Mom. Oh, could you just tell her Christy called? Thanks. Bye. That was a receptionist. Mom just left the hotel. Oh, what a shame. You just missed her. Sorry. I'll show you around later if you like. Yeah, let's take a look at New Zealand. After breakfast. Okay, I'll show you my room. Okay. Christy's a smart kid. Sooner or later she'll fall in the hotel. You're at the hotel. Listen, you booked you in. Ah, what happens when I don't turn up the conference? We'll be finished with you by then. How long will it take her to incorporate her program? Should be up and running by tomorrow. You hope. Tomorrow, Professor. I can install my program and design whatever it is you want. But you've forgotten something. All the work stays locked in the computer. What makes you think that? The program will only run with an Omni Imagizer. Your uh, Linotronic S16 doesn't have one. We'll have what you need. I don't think so. The Omni is a prototype, safely locked up in a US government security vault. There is only one. They made two. The first was destroyed in a fire at the Research and Development Center months ago. Was it? Make sure she's ready when it arrives. You couldn't possibly. We've been planning this a very long time. OK. Sure. One more grin and I'm going to remote control his teeth yeah. all over the track. 
It'll take more than a flash new jacket to win. It's fixed, Steve. It's going like a bomb. Hi. Hi, Mr. Milosic. Hi, Steve. How's it going? Good. Good. Dad, yeah. what are you doing here? Oh, uh, just thought I'd take a look. Thanks. So, can I help? Oh, that screwdriver. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is Christy. She's just over from the stage. I've heard a lot about you. Christy? Uh, Christy's into radio control cars, too. Yeah? Yeah, I told her about the championship. Yeah, so what's at stake here? If we're in the top three, we get pole position in the finals. Oh, good luck. Thanks. You're gonna need it with that old car. <laughs> You'll be surprised how fast it'll go. Righto, cars up to the mark. Testing. One, two, yeah, we can three, win right. four. Just watch him on the corners. Oh, hello, oh, Sean. Ah, uh, Kevin, excuse us. Drivers right. in the Auckland Power radio into control the corner, car yeah. club all right. you've got your line right. Take your positions Just on the driver's dead. stand. Mechanics, place your cars. Race marshals in position, please. I'm gonna bury you. You'll have to catch me first. Stand by now. This isn't a friendly race. No way. Two, one, go! Oh yes, we're off to a clean start at the semi-finals here in Steve Holmes in number seven is away from earning lead from the race paper from Martin at number four. Here we are in the S Benz, it's still Steve Holmes. He's ahead of Rob Martin. This is a brilliant driver. He's got the slower car, but he looks like he's going to come out. We're going up towards the straight now. It's still Steve Holmes. Rob Martin's trying everything he can. Flying into the hairpin now, and Steve Holmes is boxed and Oh, no! Wait a minute, what is going on? What is it? But look at Steve Holmes go. He's taken the inside line. He's easily the car. Oh, get your line right. It's a wonderful battle going on for the third place between Trevor Rose and Trevor Hayes. But the winner at the moment has got to be Steve Holmes. And you're watching your winner, Steve Holmes, as he comes to it. Wait a minute, something has gone terribly wrong again with Steve Holmes' car. Look. Terminal. From what? It's got to be interference. That could be your problem. It's on your frequency for sure. Yeah, just like yesterday, Steve. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, we saw it flying yesterday, too. That's it. Hey, we need a rerun. We had radio interference. Interference? How? That chopper, it must be running on the same frequency. I didn't see any chopper yesterday. This makes it twice in a row, loser. You saw it. It went crazy. It's got to be frequency interference. Sure looked that way to me. Shut up. All right, all right. My car won fair and square. Your car? I'm the sponsor. I'm not having the rules made up to suit. We won, that's it. Now, hang on. Steve was way ahead, and he's clearly the better driver. What would you know about it, Kevin? We never see you down here. I won. I never saw you make those corners. I beat you. You couldn't beat an egg. All right, all right. Okay, look, it's getting away. Mr. Fenner, you're the judge. If I can prove that chopper interfered, can we run the race again? I think that's fair. All right, Steve, but you better move. Fair? Fair? Well, our car was first across the line. That's all that counts. The rules state that the race is invalid if there was signal interference. I've received a protest. Oh, for crying out loud. If those are the rules, shut up, Kevin. Come on, it's heading for those houses. Happy. 
Where is going to land? How long to Wellington? Two minutes in the car and 40 minutes in the plane. Okay, thanks. Oh! Oh! Oh, part of the service, madam. Mom, is something wrong? Oh, no! It's up to you, Professor. Hi. I just want to know what frequency you're on, okay? What's wrong with you? What happened? Got away. Oh, no. Oh, never mind, son. You win some, you lose some. Dad, don't you understand? Now we have to win the finals. With what? Right. Good race, mate. Nicholas? Where were you this morning? I went out early. Yes, before breakfast. I'm all right. I'll bring something up to your room. I'm not hungry, but... Five minutes. Look, I'm going out again. You were told to rest. I'll bring something up.
Ray Pedgett is really flying through the forest section. He's picked up at least 15 seconds on Vartanen. He looks like... Professor, I have heard of viruses, you know. Electronic bugs, Professor. They're nasty little things. To get into people's programs and gobble up their data. You know the sort I mean. Well, you should do. Because you've accidentally let one in. Get rid of it. With Christy here as well, there's just too much to do. I need at least another couple of hours each day. Hello, Mrs. Fraser. Out here, Christy. We'll work something out. Hello, ready for lunch? Michelle, you're going to stay? Thank you, but... There's plenty for one more. <laughs> All right, thank you. Do you mind if I tell Mom again first? Of course, numbers by the phone. Where'd Thanks. you go? Somewhere interesting? Toy car racing. <laughs> The water fused the whole commutator. There's nothing I can do. Sorry, Steve. Micro, I'm not blaming you, mate. That creep in the van. If we ever meet up with him again, I'm gonna get his remote and fly that chopper of his right up his nose. We don't know for sure it was him. So who else could it be? He turned my car into a heap of junk. I wanna win the championships. There's always next year. I wanna win next year, too. We can still get something with the parts. Yeah, not enough. We're blowing our chances at the auction. Things go really cheap at auction, Steve. Yeah, not that cheap. Come on. Where? Well, let's grab something to eat. Head on down to the auction room. It's open. We can check out our car. Micro, you're dreaming. It's going to be ours. I can feel it. I'll get Michelle to work on Dad tonight. OK, you're on. Are you sure she didn't leave a message? She always leaves some kind of message. OK, never mind. Thank you, anyway. I just get cleaned up. How's your mum? Fine, I guess. At least I think she is. She wasn't there. You're not worried. Not worried. It's just mom and dad split up. He moves around a lot. So it's just me and mom. And she's always busy. So you don't spend much time together? Well, she's taking time off over the next 12 months. So they're going to be special. Here. You really look happy together. <laughs> Glamorous. My family are pretty ordinary. Oh, don't knock it. What's that? Oh, I bought something duty-free. Mom gave me an allowance in advance. That Steve really thinks he's hot stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, he has got a bit of an ego problem. He didn't like us down there watching. And did you notice there are no girls racing? Girls in New Zealand just don't race. Well, how would you like to do something about that? What? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Where's our stuff? Isn't there a list or something? Yeah, I forgot to bring it. <sighs> well, let's look around. Yeah, it has to be somewhere. Hey, careful. 
Uh, we heard there's a RC car around here somewhere. A radio-controlled car? <sighs> Thanks. This looks more like it. Micro. Micro? We've seen enough. Come on. Um, 23, 22, 21. Toast? I've had some. I have some more. Homemade blackberry jam. Breakfast's the most important meal of the day. You dodged too many. When? Breakfast yesterday. Lunch the day before. You know what the doctor said? Over and over again. When you overtire yourself, you only take it out on me or try to. Well, if you didn't fuss so much. You're stuck with that until you're 21. Don't I know it? I'm gonna miss you. Will you? Yeah. Like toothache. <laughs> One thing, hey, Nicholas. I'll eat the toast. I'm off to the supermarket. Do you want anything? Oh, I'm going to an electronics auction. Anything you want. You're not buying more junk. It's not junk. You should be saving your money for your future. Not today, Billy. You should be making plans. The trust document's got everything worked out. Nicholas. The trust document was not set up so you could hide away in your room. That's the way I am. No, actually, it's not. I do know what your father would have wanted for you. Look, OK. Home for lunch. OK. Be off for a little while, Professor. So? Well, I'll be checking up with your work when I get back. There's not much more I can do without the Imagizer. We'll be here in a couple of hours. Oh, no! Twenty-two. Look, twenty-two, okay? All right, son, you've only reminded me about twenty-two times. Hey, when are you going to tell them about the car? Later. Let's see what happens here first.
now we come to lot 20, a Kaiushi video recorder. There it is, one of the latest models from Japan. You won't pick this up in the local shops for eight, under $800. Excuse I'd me. like to see the bidding start at 500 Four. Well, three to get me away. 300 I have, thank you, and I'll take $50 bits. Hat 350 now. Hat 350 at 350 well, at the back, and 400 now. Hat 400 and I'll take $50 again. What? You do the bidding, bidding stupid. Now, yes. It's lock 2222, 20, you got it? Just keep sticking your hand up until the man tells you to stop. Right? Sure. 600, thank you, ma'am. At $600, I have 650 now. Against you, ma'am, at 650, I sell. All done. At 650. At 650, I sell. Yes. <coughs> thank you, 650, I have. All done at six hundred and fifty dollars. I sell at six fifty. Jeez. The next six lots are very similar. Assorted electric parts. You've seen them. You know what's there. The first is lot number twenty-one. Assorted electronic parts and it's half a dozen us. fine optical lenses. You could probably make a telescope out of that lot. Ideal for the hobbyist. I'd like to see the bidding start at a hundred. Do I see a hundred dollars? Well, eighty. Well, sixty to get me away. 60 I have, at $60, at 60, I'll take 80. 80 I have, at $80, I'll take 100. At 100 I have, at 100, 120 surely. 120 I have, at $120, I'm going to sell it if I don't see another bid. 140 just in time, at 140. At 160, at 160, 180 over here, at $180, at 200 now. At $200 I sell to the young gentleman, at 200. 200, will have change. Yeah, Lot 22. Yes, my crow. More of the same. You've looked it over. May I start the bid at $200? 200 I have. At 200, 220. 240, 260. At 260, 280. 300, 320. Getting near my limit, boys. $320, 340, 360. Get one of the shops for that. He's having fun. Or 100, or 20, or 40, or 60. At $460, I'm going to sell it once, twice, are you sure? At $460, I sell at $460. Sorry, boys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Schmuck, you've got the wrong box. 22. You said 22. Just bring it. <sighs> I'm really sorry, boys. You did your best, Dad. Now you have to tell me. Not yet. I've got to think. Hey, Michelle. That's the guy with the chopper. Where? That's him. That's his van. Hey, that's the pageant boy. I knew his father. Uh, don't you go bothering him. Come on, let's go. That's him. Follow the van. Nice and easy. Drive around the block slowly. Be back here in two minutes. Sure. Be here. Talk to you alone for a moment. Why? Yesterday, that crack I made about your car, I'm really sorry. And for the record, I'm sorry you didn't get your car in the auction today. I was hoping you would. Okay. Why? 
I raced back home, Group A and off-road. So we could have a trial, you against me, sort of check each other out. Well, we haven't got a car, have we? These are worth megabucks. Not in the duty-free shop. I couldn't pass up a bargain like that. Bet it still costs heaps. Yeah, but I figured I could sell it back in the States. Then I got another idea. Go on. Okay, so I never expected to find a racetrack right where I was staying. I'd sure like to race, but I left my control box back home. And you want to use ours? Right, and I need a mechanic. Can you tune one of these micro? Sure. No problems. You'll have to join a club. She knows that. What do we get? You can race the car, too, and first stop tonight when I go. You'll sell it to us. Steve, we can win the champs for sure with this. Steve, you're interested to know you are. Maybe. Maybe. Steve, we can win. Let's see how it handles.
How long to Wellington? A few minutes in the car and 40 minutes in the plane. OK, thanks. Oh! Ah! Oh, part the service, madam. Mom, is something wrong? Oh, no! We'll have what you need. Can you keep a secret? Sure. <laughs> You've got the wrong box. Get tighter on the turns. Okay, you got it. Better. It's got heaps of power, Steve. Yeah. Great. better. Steve? I don't know. The way you push that car, you're gonna have to sell it to be pretty cheap. Okay, I can horse trade with the best of them. Looks like we're back in the race. Okay. If it's war you want, it's war you get. Hello, Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I mean no, as in no, you can't use it. Oh, Dad. You use the racetrack. We can't. Senior's day. Guess cars only. You're doing time trials. I thought your car was brand new. It is, Mr. Millis. But, but we've got to tune it just like the real thing. Three hundred dollars, and you're going to let Micro fiddle with it? Dad, Mr. Millis, Micro knows what he's doing. Really? Sure. He's the best. I'd really appreciate it, Mr. Millis. All right. One hour. No more. Hey, that's all we need. Oh, hey. Thanks, Dad. Lost it again, Vivian. I'm sure I got it. Check in your purse. <laughs> Very clever. Can I come in now? Sure, I'm going out anyway. Look, I'm right in the middle of something, Billy. Billy! Billy! How do you like the new security camera? No more unwelcome visitors. One more all-night session, and I'll lock this door and throw away the key. It wasn't all night. 3 a.m. I'm not joking. I had a special job to do. Nothing's worth your health. OK. And you forgot your appointment, appointment with, with the doctor. doctor. Well, at least we're not going to have any more intruders. You worried about that? No. 
They'll be doing the worrying. Not me. Hey, bring her in. We should be able to get a bit tighter on the turns. Micro? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. trusted anymore, Professor. I'm exhausted. I have to rest. All right. Two hours. Done. Thank you so much. Professor. What now? Just before you sleep, a little note to your daughter. Tell her what a wonderful time you're having in Wellington. night tonight and drive carefully Nicholas I didn't mean... no Billy it's okay me and my big mouth hard left and right and back again What's wrong? Nothing. Christy seems to be getting on well with the boys. Can't all be interested in cars. It's not just that. I feel like a kid beside her. Go on. What? Out there and keep your chin up. Tonight. Oh, the postcards? Amazing. Can I drive? Yeah, sure. Why cry? You're a genius. What have you done? Have you got it back? It's not responding. My crow? It's not out of control. It's staring itself. Oh, my God. 
Here he is. Brian, sorry to drag you in from your holidays. I'm sure you are. This is Detective Gordon, CIB. Detective Gordon, Brian Fraser. Oh, what's the problem exactly? It's all over here, Mr. Fraser. A special branch in Whangarei were called in last night. It would appear that two reams of banknote paper have gone missing from the press. You're kidding. That's a Class A security area. has to be an inside job. There's no other way of getting hold of that stuff. Well, we don't know that yet. As a matter of fact, we have very little information at all. They told me I should notify you straight away. Yes, thanks. It's all very odd, though. Just two reams. If there was a counterfeit operation about to open up shop, what sort of dollar value could we be looking at? Well, they'd probably run 20s for ease of distribution, so that'd be... Um... $120,000. Oh, really? I expected it would be much more than that. No, it's not a lot, is it? Unless... I wonder. The old boys will have to be briefed. Oh, sure, Alan. They'll love that. They're on holiday, too, you know. It's a matter of security, Brian. The correct procedure yes, is... Yes, 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 all right. <clears throat> He's gonna pay for those cars. You bet. Don't even know who he is. I know. How do you know? While you guys were out playing, I asked Dave's computer. Oh, yeah? And? Name an address. Wait, Wait don't you don't show. Micro! Oh, 
Why does this sort of thing always happen when I'm two sets up? It must be a conspiracy, George. Perhaps you've got Ivor Lendl <laughs> worried with your backhand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, uh, naturally, we should be concerned at any breach of security at the press. But two reams in forged notes. Hardly a threat to the national economy. Agreed, but someone seems to have taken an awful lot of trouble in this instance. I don't think we're dealing with just a simple print and distribute operation. What then? Well, it seems that somebody is sort of waving a flag, trying to signal their intentions. Of what? Blackmail. They only need to demonstrate their capability of producing a perfect banknote. We could be looking not at a counterfeiting operation, but at blackmail. A destabilization threat? Hitler tried that in the war. Threatened to flood Britain with five pound notes. Oh, come on. We're talking about one or two hundred thousand at the most. And they've still got the stuff to distribute. I take it that you've all read this. Even the most basic home computer is capable of reproducing a complex banknote design. There is no longer any real security in printed paper currency. Oh, yes, the Nina Van Hull article. Provocative ideas, don't you think? Weren't you both in the graduate intake of... 72, uh, yes. Fascinating. But I still don't see any reason to panic. You're probably right, Bob. All the same, we shouldn't be complacent. I think you should keep a close eye on this one, Brian. I am on leave, George. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, Praise is on the case. Bob. Could you drop me back at the courts? Of course, George. Clever girl. She's done well, hasn't she? Next one should be 39. That must be it, guys. Yep, that's it. Come on. We should work out a plan. Christy, you and Michelle should go around the back. What are we, Sorry. a SWAT team? Come on. not answering. Maybe nobody's home. Well, somebody's watching that. Okay, Buster. You can see us, maybe even hear us. And you know why we're here, so you better come on out. Look, all we want to do is talk, okay? For the last time, are you coming out? No answer. I'm sure he can hear us. I hope he can hear us. He wiped us out of the competition and he's in there laughing. Let's give him something to laugh at. Such as? That. I oh, know you don't. That looks really expensive. Be faster than that, guys. Whoa. Everyone keep down. These things can be dangerous. Yeah, but it can really fly. I said down, Tiger. It's coming back. My code's remote. What? Here. If he's on our frequency, I can jam his controls. Oh, I get you. No! Who cares? You'll never land it. Are you coming out? Listen, we mean business. I'm not really going to touch that, you see. 
wouldn't have done it, would you, Steve? I'll give him 30 seconds. Part the service, madam. Mom, is something wrong? Oh, no! Takes an axe to make one of these. If it's war you want, it's war you get. Trespassing. What? And I'm gonna call the cops. Call them? You wrecked my car. And mine. What are you talking about? You and that chopper. You jammed Steve's car. You wrecked it. Then you wrecked Christie's car at the supermarket. Yeah, do you know how much they cost? Look, I haven't wrecked anyone's car. You guys broke into my house. We did what? I needed that stuff. It cost a fortune. What stuff? The stuff from the auction. Look, hold it. Shell. Shut up. You're all behaving like a bunch of kids. We are kids. A crow? We say you wrecked our cars. You say we broke into your house. So what really happened? He came. Look, hold it. One at a time. What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas. You first. She should be back by now. Perhaps she's found another supermarket to wreck. Brian, we should be spending more time with her. It's good that she's got friends. Relax. You relax. No work while Christie's here. You promised. <laughs> Senior Treasury officials are on call 24 hours a day, even when they're on leave. You've always let them take advantage of you. Let Lynn get that, Janice. Lynn! Relax. We should be spending more time with her. You worry too much.
how long? I saw you at the auction, but we don't know anything about breaking into your house. Yeah. All we know is you came back and wrecked Christie's car. And my dad's supermarket. Well, someone broke in here and really scared my housekeeper. I thought it was you. We haven't done anything. I followed you as far as the racetrack. And there were bits and pieces of my stuff lying all around your motorbike. I haven't got a bike. He hasn't. Honest. Didn't you get them on tape? I only put that up today. It's a great idea. You should put it on the chopper. You can cover a whole neighborhood. What? Pay for that car that went under the truck. What about the other one? What about it? Took it back. Yeah, the whole commutator's fused. It has to be rewound. Well, so? That's the job they do at the factory. You can't do it yourself. I can. I've got the gear. All right. Sounds fair. OK? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Bye. Back in the race. Yeah, you said it couldn't be fixed. Not on the kitchen table. Yeah, if I had the gear. Never mind, Micro. Works out pretty good, huh? Yeah. Hey, listen, I got to go. I'll call you later. Yeah, see Bye. ya. Bye. Bye. Well, the heat's gonna be off us when Dad hears about this. Dad. Dad.
Fraser residence. Hello? This is Nina Van Hull. Is that my mom? Can't speak loudly. I have to speak to Brian or Janice Fraser. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Wrong number. Oh, you got a postcard today. Oh, from Wellington. Great. Thanks, Lynn. Dinner. The moment. The moment is now. Look, this is an abuse of power. Well, that's me. Powerful and abusive. Did that get damaged in your little fracas today? Unlike you, I sometimes chat to the neighbours. I'm stripping it down to mount a camera. Do you want to talk about it? What? Dinner? What happened this afternoon? It's all settled. What's for dinner? It's the first print. This color's not right. Give it time. The computer's still adjusting. The next sheet will be real enough. Is it right? Perfect. Right, Professor? Nearly finished. Just a small imperfection. won't talk to us today. You don't know that. We had to force him to open the door yesterday. But today he knows us. Come on. Nicholas! I'm busy. Look at this. What? Hi. Billy, I asked I you... I know, but you've got visitors. Stay as long as you like. Hi, I'm Christy, and this is... Steve. And this is one fabulous setup. Must have cost heaps. Have a look at your car. Hey, did we do that? Damage it, I mean. No, that kid yesterday. Micro? He said something about mounting a camera. And you can move the camera with this remote. Well, it just needs one more servo. And another pair of hands. What? You've got six channel control on this chopper. And now camera servos as well. You'll never do it. Well, think of something. I usually do. Oh, well, we'll help. It's our idea. Yeah, we've got all day. Don't you want to see if it works? I put the kettle on. Would you like a cup of tea? We're busy, Billy. We'd love some.
to get these in a circulation. Oh, they're useless. Coffee, they're exactly what we need. Well, that's me finished. Do I get to leave too? Well, that's not my decision. Look, I need some fresh air. All right, I'll check it out. Those forgeries will be picked up in five minutes. He's really into it. Into it? I've never seen anyone work like him. Everything else is just cut off. He let us help. He doesn't even know we're here. In this place, it's like a museum. Just him and his mom. She's not his mom. How do you know? I just know. And I bet she knows what's eating that guy. Come on. Don't even think about it. That brute would tear you to pieces. Yes. The dog looks pretty mean, too. Show me the ground. Okay, okay. Look, I can't judge distance from here. From now on, you show me what I ask for. I was talking to Mum earlier about Nicholas Padgett. <coughs> His chop is amazing. I'd love one of those. Do you remember a racing driver could Ray Padgett? Yeah, sure. That's Nicholas's dad. What? The guy? That's right. And Nicholas was in the crash that killed him. That's why he limped. And his mum died years ago, apparently. He's got nobody. How far to the corner? About 20 metres. Check left. Checking left. Not bad. It's great. I think I've got it now. Can't be teamwork. Give me the ground again. If we go higher, I can see more. Check. So, let's have a look round.
That's exactly $49, thanks. Thank Hey, what's this? Monopoly money? What? It's a fake. Mr. Millicent! Damn it, she was there. I saw her. There's nobody there, Christy. Try again, please. I'm sure, I'm sure it was her. One more time. I'm running low on fuel. Please? Sorry to check out the place for just a moment. Well, I'll find the police. Give us a look, Dad. It's so obvious. Hey, check all the tilts. They had a car loose in here yesterday. Damn it, why didn't we record it? I did see someone, a woman. My mother. But it's impossible. You told me she was in Wellington. It was her. She's here. She's right here in Auckland? What's going on? Got to get the timing right. Looking for you till you're inside. Looking for you till the morning comes. from the airport. She'll ID me. What? Takes an axe to make one of these. It's war you want. It's war you get. What's your name? Nicholas. Check left. Checking left. Not bad. Let's have a look round. Hey. What's this? Hey. I saw her for a moment. Steve, I know my own mother, okay? Okay. Sorry, I'm just a bit thrown. I still don't understand. Your mother's back in Auckland, so what? She wouldn't come back without telling me, and I haven't been able to get in touch with her in Wellington. And when she calls me, I don't know there's something. Then go home. She might be there. Yeah, maybe. 
I sound pretty stupid, don't I? Look, I'd be out of my tree if it was my folks. See ya. See ya. Let's have another look at the warehouse. What for? Her mother's back in Auckland. Problem solved. If she wants our help, she'll get back to us. Does she have to come back and ask? Hello? Yes, I'm calling from Auckland. Can you put me through to Professor Van Hull's room, please? Checked out? When? Did she leave a forwarding address? Yeah, that's this place. Thanks. Hello, Christy. Um, Janice and Brian were called out suddenly. Some urgent business. Didn't you hear me calling out? Must have been outside. There's the hill, so it's just past it. Shall I get there? Push the yellow button. Hello. Hello? Any sign of your mother? No. I'm waiting for the Frasers to get back. Listen, that place we saw, did you try and locate it somehow? Yeah, we're doing that now. You are? Hey, Nick, that's really great. You're a good guy. Thanks. Bye. Go to the lounge, Detective. We'll talk to you later. I simply can't believe the quality. With one obvious mistake. Oh, yes, I meant to be obvious. <laughs> the people that made these are pointing a gun at the country's head. They can devalue or destabilize the currency whenever they like. Yes, I appreciate that, but uh, there are more senior people in Treasury that you could be talking to. But they're not playing host to the one person who's able to make those. Have you seen Professor Van Hull since she arrives? Well, she's, she's in Wellington on business. We've got her hotel. So have we. And she's not there. Professor Nina Van Hull checked out yesterday. Present whereabouts unknown. Nina would never become mixed up in something like this. I'd like to ask her that. Look, I've known Nina for years. We were at university together. Shh, Christy. Are you going out again? Sure, if that's okay. Well, it's getting late and we're just about to have dinner. Why the police here? Oh, just some treasury business. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Who are you calling? My friends are telling them I'm not coming. Is that all right? <laughs> of course. Nicholas, listen. Put everything on hold until tomorrow. Then I'd like to see you and the others at your place, if that's okay. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out.
Where is it? Yes, detective. Yes, it is a great deal of money. <laughs> no, I think the government will pay all right. Because if we don't, all they have to do is leave the stuff lying around in sackfuls. It doesn't bear thinking about. The way I see it, $10 million is a small price to pay. No, detective. Pragmatic. Will you be at the meeting tomorrow morning? All right, look, I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. Look, I've told you everything I know, and that's not much. The first day I'm here, after Mom goes to Wellington, she phones me. She sounds really strange. And don't ask me how I know. Vibes, I guess. Now she's in Auckland, and she hasn't contacted me. And the police are asking questions. And the Frasers are holding something back, telling me lies. You're sure? I'm sure. Something big's going on. Mom's involved. Why hasn't she told me? Maybe she can't. What do you mean? Maybe it's government stuff, you know, confidential. Financial consultant. I don't think so. But Brian had this bank note, and there was the Queen winking as yeah. those... Yeah, the forgeries. What? There were counterfeit notes at the supermarket yesterday. $20 bills. The police were all over the place. They must need her help. Oh, no. Mom had this special program with her. She didn't say much about it, but it could copy anything on paper. So who would know how to use it? She would, and she's just about the only one who would. But they wouldn't think. She disappears, forgeries are turning up. You figure it out. They must think she's doing it. Just tell them. Damn it, they've already made up their minds. I'm sorry. That's OK. I have to know if Mom's in that warehouse before I go to the cops, and if she's all right. It won't be easy. We made a sweep yesterday afternoon. And. Whoever's in there doesn't want to be disturbed. This isn't going to be easy. We'll help. Won't we, guys? Right. Of course we will. See? Simple. Hurry up. The biggest I could find. Raw, as per instructions. Thanks very much. What's it for? A security penetration device. Nicholas! ask what's going on and where you're going. Well, we think a world-famous professor's been held prisoner in a warehouse near here, so we're doing a surveillance before we call the cops or do something ourselves. I see. And the, uh... A security penetration device. We're ready, guys. It's all right. You gotta be kidding. It's huge. No sign of life. We need to find out who owns this place. Hey, I'll do a circuit around. See if there's any cars or anything. I'd better follow Rambo. Micro! Steve, check around the front, see if there's a company name or something. Don't give me orders, okay? Look, I'll do it. I will. Look. I didn't mean it to come out like that. Tell him. You look tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. I kept thinking of Mom in a place like this. There's just no way she'd get involved in anything. Look, Michelle, a gate. People might cry. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> 
Movement. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Here. Where do you know him from? I swear he's the guy that picked up Mom at the airport. Everything's locked up tight. And of course, our friend, the dog. Did you see something? Yeah, the guy that picked up Mom at the airport. OK, Micro. Let's see if your idea works, eh? Of course it will. I thought of it, didn't I? There's the dog. Hurry it up. The dog's coming. Ready? Ready. Go on. Try it comes. Go this way. Shout. Okay, I'll go switch on. Fine, hurry. Oh, mind the chopper. Here we go. Better get under cover. Slow down. What's that? Watch out. Watch out. Yeah. Wrong way, go. Wrong way. Stay back the way. I can't go any other way. Look, that wall. I can't go. Look, this is hard, okay? Uh, uh, Are you sure? She's in there. Well, her suitcases are. Anyway, it doesn't prove what? that she's not... Go ahead, say it. Doesn't prove they're holding her, right? No. Maybe she is with them. Christy, we don't think that. Where do you want the car, guys? We haven't got long on that battery. Cover the door. Under the limo. 
Good idea. Don't go to water, you hit the wheel. Go for it. The battery's failing, guys. Take it back, Steve. That's it. The battery's had it. I'm sorry. I overreacted. So what do we do now? Wait. You two are working very hard. I hope you're getting paid as much as Lainey. I hope they're not going to pay you with this. I'd uh, like to do a practice run, say, a few thousand. That's a good idea. Want to show me where the paper is? No. But Bill... Okay. I can just wait for Lainey. Okay, we'll do it. The stuff's outside. We're not as stupid as we look. Couldn't possibly be. We know she's in there, we know she's a prisoner, now we can call the cops, all right? I've got to go. Brian and Janice will know who to talk to. Hey, listen, I, what I said before... Was... See, it's time we had a talk. Ah! I've locked Lynn in a wine cellar. You've locked Lynn in a wine cellar? She knows something about all this. She does. I know where Mom is. That's what you're talking about. She's not far from here. Call the cops. Right. So do we get her free the better? Free? Slip, dear. Christy didn't actually say her mother was being held against her will. How silly of me.
How long to Wellington? Two minutes in the car and 40 minutes in the plane. OK, thanks. Oh! Oh! Oh, partner service, madam. Mom, is something wrong? Oh, no! It's the American kid from the airport. She'll ID me. What? It's an act to make one of these. If it's war you want. It's war you get. Whoa! What's your name? Nicholas. Oh. Check left. Checking left. Not there. Let's have a look round. Hey. What's this? Hey. Hey, hey! That's my mother! Back, turn it back! Well, we think a world-famous professor's been held prisoner in a warehouse near here. her. She's handcuffed. The sooner we get her free, the better. Free? Slip, dear. Christy didn't actually say her mother was being held against her will. How silly of me. I'll take you to your mother, dear. Now. Well, who's she? Police, I should think. They've had their suspicions. Then they'll be looking for you. They were suspicious of your mother, and you locked that woman in the cupboard. We were prepared for something like this anyway. Stay here and look after her. I'll send someone. But you work for the Treasury. Yes, handling millions. Oh, do be quiet. Janice, no! If you want to see your mother again, you'll just do as I say. Now get in the car and get down on the floor. Get down! They should be here by now. They'll be getting the cops. The SAS, too. I'm going to phone the house. You promise not to do anything. Look, I'll go. It can't hurt to ring. I'll check around the back again. No! Look, who said you're in charge? If Christy phoned the police, we'll only be in the way. And if they're already taking her out the back way? Hey, well... somebody's coming! Who is it? There's one way to find out. We can't see anything. Look. Come again. wasn't part of the deal. She tumbled us. We had to. Oh, I see. She brought her here. There was nowhere else. Now, give me a hand. No. You'll do what I say, lady. Listen, I'm not getting involved. Too late for second thoughts, lady. You are involved. Not with this. No way. Your whole plan's falling apart. Just do what you're told. Forget it! Then you can forget your share. If only we could move the car. There's someone else there. Janice, no! Move the car. There's no power. Up to you, lady. Can you see who it is? No. Under 
Just he's told the Frasers. The cops will be on their way. Then where are they? Where's Michelle? Keep down. Now what? I don't know. Micro, check the screen. Why don't we just go in and move the car? Just watch the screen. Where's Michelle? Oh, hi, Mr. Fraser. It's Michelle speaking. Is Christy there, please? Uh, I'm sorry, Michelle. She's um, she's out with Janice for the rest of the afternoon. I'll uh, I'll tell you a call, okay? Yeah. yeah bye. Michelle! Temper. What's that for? Another run. Perfect ones this time. But we don't need them. Choice. Against what? Lenny, don't trust her. Shut up. You're crazy. I said shut up. This doesn't affect our plan. The ransom will still be paid and you'll be long out of here. Insurance, Janice. You can run the machine till Brian leaves the house. She's in there. Use your mask and hurry. Uh, Janice, yep, she's just arrived. Now, are you ready to go to the airport? Okay. Bye. Seven, two, nine. Brian's on his way. Then we're out of here. Except those waiting for the police. Looks as if your friends have let us down. Ever to find a phone that was working. What happened? Christy's home, all right. So, did you talk to her? No, Mr. Fraser. But he couldn't wait to get rid of me. He must have heard the whole story by now. So, they've called the police? I suppose so. I hope so. Yeah. So do I. Almost ready. You're not going anywhere. Yes, I am. <laughs> You've got enough. With this program, we can set up again any time we like. Lainey, do you want to get on the plane or not? Janice, you don't really think that you can get away with this. I mean, really. Get off! Mycroft? It was her. She's in there. It can't be Christy. She's with Mrs. Fraser. It was Christy. Are you sure it was her, Micro? Look, this is no time for jokes, Micro. I'm not kidding. Look! It's Mrs. Fraser! Who was she calling to? I don't know. She was shouting at the limo. She's seen the car. I know. Oh, no. Oh. 
Bobby, we've got to call the cops. Yeah. The phone box was by the dairy. I'm faster than you. In a hurry. Where are you going? We've got to help Christy. <sighs> Look, we have to wait for the police. Are you kidding? They'll be out of there in two minutes. And we still don't know how much Professor Van Hull is involved. Take them down at the station. <clears throat> May I ask the charge? Start with resisting arrest. We'll have more tomorrow. And then again, you might not. from the auction. I don't! They're going through that gate. We can't catch them. Christy must still be inside. We'll never get there in time. If they make the gate, there's no way we'll catch them. Maybe there is. What? following. Them. Uh, not for long. I don't know how much fuel I have. You've got to follow them. I'm flying blind. I could crash any second. You've got to stop them. How can he do that? Oh, shut up. I've got to concentrate. Move it. Power. You're nearly onto the road. I'm almost out of fuel. Look, get away! I know. What are you doing? Just shut up!
I don't believe it. How come you couldn't have waited for me? We were waiting. What took you so long? How could he do that? He had to. Stick him in the van. Yep. Dennis, I'll see you in court. It's a date, Laney. Coming into the last lap now in this demonstration race, these scale model motorcycles are very, very difficult to drive indeed. They're quite spectacular. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of them in the future at these meetings. Well done, right, guys. guys. Hey, 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 Race yeah. Yeah. Right now, cars up to the mark, ladies and gentlemen, please. Oh, All up to the start. Right. Good luck, thank you. you. Thanks, good luck. Good luck, yeah. good luck. Good luck please take your positions on the driver's stand. Mechanics, please now place your cars on the starting grid. Race marshals in position, please. I thought your mother would be here. No, she thought she'd better go to that conference in Wellington. She also thought she'd buy a new chopper. 
It's my dad. He was into remote, not me. Well, there's nothing wrong with you, Maurice. Bye. Bye. And the Auckland Radio Control Car Club Cup for 1988 goes to Steve Hose. Well done. <laughs> Let's go. And replacing Hot Shots next week, we have a four-part mystery thriller called The Night of the Red Hunter.